Hi, I'm Patrick Ethier. Today, Jeffrey Claremont, Aaron Ethier, and Ethan Donovan, along with Brandon Moran behind the camera, are at the Houston Field House on RPI campus today to interview uh, men's hockey coach Seth Apper and a few of his players. The engineers just finished regular season play, securing the number two seed in the East State. ECAC playoffs and are now preparing for the postseason. The WVLT Channel 17 Video Club would thank would like to thank Coach Appert and RPI Athletics for the opportunity to, opportunity to join them at practice today. Coach Appert, I'm I'm Patrick Ethier and this is Jeffrey Claremont. Thank you for joining us on WVLT Channel 17 today. Uh, RPI has won 10 of its past 11 games after being in last place in January. Where is there a certain practice or game where you saw this team come together and uh, thought a run like this was possible? That's a good question. I think that uh, probably wasn't any one practice or one game. More, uh, It's kind of been a more of a steady, slow march uh, towards trying to be a better team since mid-November. Early November, we weren't very good. Uh, and, and since, even though it, it didn't look like it publicly until January, uh, we started to turn the corner in November with how we started practicing and how we were playing in games. And then as we started gaining confidence through practice, uh, we started winning those games as uh, January and February came. This is um, the first RPI team in school history to win its combined four games versus Clarkson and St. Lawrence. How does it feel to sweep Clarkson, RPI's biggest rival this season? It's a good question. It's always good to beat your rivals, right? Um, you know, it's uh, you know, there's such a great story tradition here uh, for our program, and it's it's we've won national championships, we've produced NHL players, and it's kind of uh, it's kind of crazy to think that um, you know the last time that we've shut them out is 1954 um, when Bobby Fox did it when we won a national championship that year. So um, you know, certainly we have a lot of respect for the tradition and history of our program and of Clarkson's program. So to be able to uh, to sweep them uh, is something we're very proud of, but uh, we know we have a lot of work ahead uh, in the playoffs. Your second place finish earned a bye in the first round of the ECAC playoffs. You will not play to the quarterfinals. Are you concerned about the layoff, especially, especially with how well the team has played the past two months? Uh, I'm not too concerned. That is a good question, you know, because when you're on a roll, you want to keep going and, and keep maintain that role. But, you know, I think we can maintain the uh, the edge uh, and the energy and the confidence through practice. Uh, I think the most important thing is is how we practice this week during an off week. And we need to have a mature approach and, and look at this week as an opportunity to get better and to get rested uh, and make sure we keep our energy and our attention to detail high. With a record of 12 wins, two losses, and two ties at the Houston Fieldhouse, how big of a factor has the home fan base been throughout the season, and how important will the home ice be in the play in the playoffs? Yeah, it's it's been tremendous. Uh, you know, we weren't very good at home last year, and that's something uh, you know we want to take a lot of pride in. Uh, we're very fortunate that we have three, four, or five thousand fans that come out uh, every night and support us. So we have a great student base here that supports us. We have a great community behind us. And, and we're really fortunate to have that. And so with that, we take a lot of pride in trying to play uh, our best when we're at home in front of our fans. And I think our team has drawn confidence from how we've been at home this year, the fact that we haven't lost very much, and even the losses that we did have, we played well in. So uh, we do have confidence in our own building. Um, we don't, we aren't going to have our students uh, as much in the playoffs because they're in spring break. So we're hoping that we'll still be able to get three or 4,000 fans from the community to come out and give us that home ice advantage. Goalie Jason Kasdorf was a key recruit and has lived up to expectations for most of the season. Have you ever coached or seen a freshen, freshman goalie adjust to the pressure and play as well as Kasdorf uh, has the past two months? Yeah, he's played very well. Uh, you know, he's a Winnipeg Jets draft pick. He was a high recruit coming in, and, and uh, he's, he's lived up to that. Uh, I think we've played pretty good team defense in front of him. I think that... You know, with, with his emergence has also been the emergence of our stronger team play. Uh, but uh, probably the only other freshman, I've been fortunate to recruit a lot of good goalies and coach a lot of good goalies that have played in the NHL, Alan York being one of them here, some other goalies when I was at Denver. 
Uh, probably the only one in his freshman year that would, would compare would be a, a young man by the name of Peter Menino, uh, who helped us win a national title at Denver, uh, and has went on to a great pro career, including games in the National Hockey League. Does uh, Kansdorf give the team a feeling of security, knowing that if RPI scores two or three goals in a game, it will probably win because he has been so difficult to score on? Yes, he does. Uh, I think that's what you want from your goaltender is a feeling of uh, confidence. Um, you, When everything's going crazy and the game's getting a little haywire, you want your guys to be able to look down towards your end of the rink and see uh, – uh, see a, a kind of a shining confidence down there and uh, Jason's composure and his calm play and then his uh, effectiveness has really given our team confidence that we can go out and play as aggressive as we want to play knowing uh, that we have him back in net for us. Senior defenseman Nick Ballin leads the team in points. Is he having an All-American type season? We Will he have a chance to play in the NHL next season or will he play in Europe? It's a great question. Um, you know, he's been an All-American two different times. He's had a great career here. He's been an athletic All-American two years ago when we went to the national tournament. He was an academic All-American last year. Uh, and he's got a chance to be both this year, both an academic and an athletic All-American. So, you know, when you, it's, it's special enough to be as good of a hockey player he is. When you combine that with how good of a student he is to be an academic All-American at a challenging school like RPI, it really shows uh, the kind of young man he is and the discipline he has in his life. Um, you know, he's, he's been tremendous for us here this year. Um, he's, he's showing that he deserves an opportunity to, to get an NHL contract. Uh, will he play in the NHL next year? He's going to probably have to prove it in the minor leagues or in Europe first. Uh, but I hope uh, what he's done this year and how he's played has is, is been enough to earn an NHL contract, and I believe it is. What will your team do this week when it has to buy? Do you, do you give your guys time off to rest? and heal or do you continue with hard practices a little bit of both that's a great question we need to mix in both uh, i think the worst thing you could do is to practice all every day but don't practice very hard that would be no good uh, so the days that we are practicing we're going to practice at a really really high level we're going to try to keep it short and physically and mentally intense but we're going to build days off in there uh, we're gonna, we gave them monday off we're going to give them thursday off and then we're going to give them sunday and monday of next week off as well so there'll be four hard intense practices but also four off days built in over these next eight days leading up to tuesday through thursday where we'll get ready for the playoffs the ECAC semifinals will be played in Atlantic City this year. Next year, they will be in, played in Lake Placid. They have been also played in Albany in recent years. Where do you prefer to play in the, the semifinals? Well, number one, you prefer to get there. You know, so I'll play uh, wherever they are uh, as long as we're there. I think that's uh, that's the key thing is earning the right to be there and. Uh, you know, I think we'd play uh, uh, a game of street hockey uh, if we had to for the ECC semifinals. But, you know, I think Lake Placid's a really neat venue uh, for the tournaments. I'm excited that it's going back there. Uh, it's one of the uh, most important uh, locations in the history of American hockey with the 1980 Miracle on Ice. So I think that uh, it's a really special place to, for our student athletes to try to get to play. Uh, so I'm excited that the league is returning to Lake Placid. RPI is ranked number 15 in the latest edition of the pairwide rankings, which is usually a good comparison for teams that will quality for the NCAA tournament. The tournament takes 16 teams. Do you think your team has done enough at the present time, or do you need a quarterfinal playoff series to clinch at an at 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 large birth to the NCAA tournament? That's a great question. Um, we have to do more. We haven't done enough yet. Uh, we've had a good run, uh, and it's something to be proud of, but we have a lot of work ahead of us, uh, and we have a lot of games we've got to keep winning. Uh, so this, uh, you know, more importantly, we're not concerned about the Ancelotti Turner right now. We're kind of focused in on uh, that first game a week from Friday, the first period of the first game, and trying to start that series off on the right note because a playoff series, the best two out of three in our league is just so challenging. But uh, uh, so our focus is on that series right now, but we have more work to do if we want to qualify for the NCAAs. Two years ago, RPI went to the NCAA tournament. This team has a chance to return in a couple of weeks. In what ways to, is this team different or better than the team of two years ago? 
Uh, this team's different. Um, you know, I have a lot of appreciation for that team. We lost two players right before the, that season to the NHL, and that team still went to the tournament without them. So I'm very proud of what that team accomplished. But uh, uh, this team's deeper. We win this year because of the depth of our lineup. We can score anywhere through our four lines. All six defensemen play a lot of minutes for us. We've had injuries. Other guys have stepped in. So we've had contributions from everybody on our team this year. And we really win as a team. That year, uh, we were really heavily reliant on Alan York and that uh, Chase Palachuk to score all the big goals for us. And uh, so this is a deeper team than that team was. Did you think this was an NCAA tournament team at the beginning of the season or did you make believers out of you in recent weeks you know I think uh, we, we felt that we had a good team uh, but at the same time uh, we knew we had a lot of work to do we have a lot of freshmen and sophomores on our team um, and not as many juniors and seniors so we needed to grow up we needed to mature and our work ethic and our uh, commitment needed to, to grow throughout the season so I liked what we had but at the same point in time uh, I knew we had a lot of work to do and I think it's been more of a believing as the season's gone along. What advice do you have for young student athletes with aspirations of playing sp sports in college? You know I, my, the best advice would be follow your passion find something that you absolutely love to do and then follow it with everything you have. Uh, but also combine that uh, with a great work ethic uh, and combine that with a lot of unselfishness and combine that especially with really good academics. Uh, because the better you can be in your schooling, the more options you're going to have in college. You're going to get to go to better schools. You're going to get a better education. You're going to have a chance to earn a stronger degree. Uh, because at the end of the day, even the best players I've coached that have played in the NHL, they're going to need that, that college education to fall back on someday. So I would say you know, have the work ethic and passion and follow it, uh, but combine it with your education and getting good grades. How do you stress the importance of academics to your young student athletes? If they don't go to class, they don't play. It's really simple. Um, so if our guys, our guys do a great job in the classroom, I'm really proud of that. We had a 3.54 GPA last semester at a very hard school at RPI. So um, we take it very seriously. And, and uh, you know, I talk to them about it all the time, especially that first year. Uh, but the, the simple fact is uh, if I find out they're not attending class or not doing their job in the classroom, then I don't play them in games. And uh, uh, that's the ultimate uh, kind of authority a coach has over a, a student athlete. All right, thanks, Coach Appert, for joining us today. Thanks for having me on, guys. Those are great questions. Hi, I'm Patrick, and we're here with Luke Karate. He's a defenseman for the RPI Engineers. Thank you for joining us. Uh, what got you into playing hockey? Um, I started playing hockey when I was younger. My dad played it uh, growing up, and he still does. Uh, so he got me into the game at a pretty early age and just stuck with it, you know, kept falling in love with it. And, Kept going. Um, what positions have you played throughout your career? Um, at one point, I've actually played every position. I think I actually started out as a goalie, but that was only for a week and a half. And then I moved to forward and then to defense. What is your favorite pro hockey team? Um, both of my parents being from New York, my favorite team is going to be the New York Rangers. <laughs> what is your favorite memory so far of your RPI hockey career? Um, you know, there's been a couple. I know last year I remember we uh, ended the season on a on a on a good note. We beat uh, Colgate and uh, Cornell and Cornell Senior Night, and then uh, this year I think when we went on a bit of a, a run, you know, from late January to throughout February, uh, I don't know. There's been a bunch. What are your favorite and least favorite arenas to play in? Oh, I definitely say that Houston Fieldhouse would be my favorite place to play. You know, fans are real loud and they get into the game and they make it a lot of fun. And uh, least favorite, I guess, uh, probably would be Brown. I guess they don't get too many fans. So, um, what are your expectations for the ECAC playoffs? To win, to win it all, win the championship, come home with the cup. What is a typical day like for you? How much? time do you spend on schoolwork after practice? A uh, typical day for me would be waking up. I uh, normally have a class or practice around 8 o'clock in the morning, so go do that. And then, uh, you know, if it's, a, if it's a practice, then lift, then I'll do that. And then when I come home, you know, I've got a fair amount of schoolwork to do, so I'll do all the schoolwork. And then, you know,
you know, just relax, hang out with uh, my teammates, my roommates, friends, you know, just chill. What is your major and favorite subject? I major in business management, and uh, I'd have to say my favorite uh, subject right now uh, would be finance. What are your plans after college? Um, you know, to take hockey as far as I can go. I'd like to, you know, play for as long as I can, and then after that, hopefully, get a good job in the real world and, you know, make some money to and raise a family. What advice? do you have for young students, athletes, hoping to play a sport in college? I'd say to uh, young kids wanting to play a sport in college that, um, you know, don't worry, don't get discouraged if things don't go your way all the time and stick to it, work hard, uh, and also have fun too because that's what I still do. All right, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you very much. We are here with CJ Lee, okay. position forward for for the RPI engineers, thank you for joining us. What got you into playing hockey? Uh, I just uh, went to the rink one day and I saw a game yeah, yeah. and I just told my dad, looks pretty fun, uh, I would like to try it out and uh, next day I got all the new equipment and everything and got on the ice and somehow I was pretty decent at it so I kept with it and that's pretty much uh, how it started. So I just thought it would look fun, and yeah, said if it looked fun, it had, had to be pretty fun to play too. So. What position have you played throughout your career? Uh, I mostly played uh, forward, um, anywhere, center, right wing, left wing. But uh, I'd play anywhere just to be on the ice. So I'd even play goalie. What is your favorite pro hockey team? Well, I'm from uh, Staten Island, New York, so I'm a big New York Rangers fan. Uh, haven't been to many games uh, in the recent past, but uh, I always watch them on TV, and I love I love their captain, uh, Ryan Callahan. He's my favorite player, so, yeah. What is your favorite memory so far of your RPI hockey career? Uh, I would definitely say two years ago, making the national tournament. Uh, that was pretty cool, and uh, there's obviously a few games that uh, always come to mind, and one of those always being is the uh, Big Red Freak Out game, so those are always fun to play in because there's a lot of fans, so I really like those games. What are your favorite and least favorite arenas to play in? Uh, well, my favorite arena is obviously Houston Fieldhouse. If I had to pick an away arena that I like to play in, I'd uh, probably say Yale or Cornell. Uh, my least favorite uh, rink would probably be to play in in our league is uh, Brown or Colgate. They don't really get too many fans, but uh, that's probably the biggest reason why. What are your expectations for the ECAC playoffs? Uh, my expectations that we'll, we'll, we'll win it. I mean, that's what I want to do, and I think, I think that's what our whole team believes that we can do. So. Uh, that's my expectation, uh, and we're going to keep working to try and meet that. What is a <coughs> typical day like for you? How much time do you get to spend on schoolwork after practice? Uh, well, I'm an engineering student, so I spend quite a bit of time on uh, my homework. So uh, it's tough and challenging, but you always find time. You have to be good at managing your time. and. I think I always find time to handle that and also have some social time with uh, my teammates and other other kids at school. So, uh, yeah, I find, I find the time to do my work. I have to. What is your ma major and favorite subject? Uh, my major is mechanical engineering, and uh, obviously with that being that uh, my favorite subject is probably math, calculus, and stuff like that. What are your plans after, for after college? Uh, my plans for after college, um, obviously I want to play for as long as I can, uh, see where hockey can take me. It's taken me to some pretty cool places already, so uh, hopefully it can, continues to do that. But if not, I'll look for a job in the, what I have my uh, degree in. So, What advance, advice. advice do you have for young students, athletes, Hoping to play sports in college. Uh, my my advice to young uh, young uh, athletes that are 
looking to play college sports as just to have fun with it. It's a big commitment, and some some days you might uh, not think you love it anymore, but you always have to remember why you started and just uh, yeah, always have fun with it and uh, just keep working hard. That's it. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate it. Hi, we're here with uh, Bo, Bo Dolan. Uh, he plays defense for the uh, RPI engineers. Uh, thank you for j joining us. Um, what got you into playing hockey? Well, uh, my dad got me into playing hockey. He played college hockey and uh, back home in Minnesota. It just was, uh, you know, every kid does it growing up, so that's, that's what got me into playing hockey. What positions have you played throughout your career? Every position but goalie. I was uh, I never really liked sitting sitting in the net playing goalie. What is your favorite what is your favorite pro hockey team? Uh, I'd have to say my favorite pro hockey team would be uh, the Minnesota Wild, just because they're back home, it's a hometown team and you know. What is your favorite memory so far of your RPI hockey career? Uh, favorite memory of my RPI hockey career would probably be just playing my first game. Um, Knowing I made it uh, and playing for a great school and a great program. Thank you um, for your time and. You get some more questions. More questions? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Let's see. What are your favorite and least favorite arenas to play in? Ooh, favorite would have to be this rink right here, the Houston Field House, playing at home. It's the best atmosphere. And uh, the least would probably be Brown because there's no, no fans at Brown. It's not fun. What are your expectations for the ECAC playoffs? Well, our expectations are to win. Um, that's really kind of been our goal since day one, uh, win the ECAC and then keep on going from there. What is a typical day like for you? How much time do you get to spend on schoolwork after practice? Well, a typical day is we usually have practice for you know, at least two hours every day, maybe maybe more. And then uh, right after that, you go and hit the books and, and do all your schoolwork. It's important to get your schoolwork done because if you don't, then you can't play. What is your major and favorite subject? I'm a business major. Um, favorite subject? God. Well, when I was when I was your guys' age, it was it was gym. <laughs> but uh, I agree. yeah, now I'm gonna have to say probably. Probably external environment of business. What are your plans for after college? Hopefully play hockey as long as I can. Um, and then probably move back home and find a job. <laughs> what advice do you have for young student athletes hoping to play sports in college? Uh, just work hard. Work really hard. Um, it doesn't come without hard work. Um, you gotta work hard in school, and then and then in the sport you play as well. It doesn't matter, you know. Even if it's not a sport, if it's if it's, you know, if you're in the theater, or if you're in the, you know, writing anything, it's you just gotta work hard at it. Thank you for joining us, and good luck with your uh, hockey career. Hey, thank you. Thanks, Bo. Yeah. Hey, thanks, guys. Coach Appert, thank you very much for the opportunity to interview you and your players today. Good luck in the postseason. We would also like to thank Kevin Moran from the Tri Record for both arranging and helping us prepare for this interview. Our viewers can stay tuned to view the upcoming playoff schedule and we hope you will please come out to the Houston Fieldhouse at the RPI campus to show your support for the engineers.